Welcome back to the channel, Married at First Sight fans. And this is the second video in our five part series, um, right before decision day, where we recap the journey of each couple. And in this particular video, it's about our uh, Married at First Sight couple, Brett and Olivia. So before we jump into the meat and the details of their journey, if you are new here, please feel free to subscribe. I do content on many dating and romance reality TV shows, Married at First Sight, Bachelor, Bachelorette, Love Island, Ready to Love, and many new up and coming uh, reality dating TV shows as well. If you like this video, smash the like button. Also, when you do subscribe, turn on your notification bell so you're notified every time a video is posted and then comment down below because I do like engaging with the subbies as we talk about the shows. So without further ado, let's get started. So if you kind of remember early on, the biggest issue with this particular couple originally started out with Brett. Um, Brett came on to the bachelor party, um, flirting with one of Henry's friends. I think her name was Kristen, which we'll talk about her in Henry's video. But he was also known as being the serial dater. He is the swipe left or swipe right type of dude. He's always on um, dating apps. I think he said he dated about 45 different people and nobody came up correct and plus he actually was scheduled to go out on a date with someone right before the show as well but obviously it didn't happen so I mean on the flip side we had Olivia who she loved her cats he also loved his cats too but she was just seemed to be a sweetie then I think everything went left on the honeymoon and here's the thing about Brett and I've said this in the many episodes that we've done in the past 15 episodes, Brett is brutally blunt. And, um, you know, and not saying that some of the things that he say isn't correct, it's his delivery in it. And depending on who you are on the receiving end, some people can roll with it and say, hey, you're speaking your truth. It doesn't have to affect me. I'll just choose what I'm going to choose to do. Other people, it might not settle too well with them. And the thing about Olivia, because he is aloof, he's straightforward with kind of a coldness in his delivery. Olivia didn't understand that. She wanted this gentle guy. Okay. And that's, I can understand that. However... As time went on throughout the season, I think their biggest issues were the fact that they were stuck in their own ways. And I mean, we have some folks that are team Olivia, we have some folks that are team Brett, and we have some folks that are team nobody in this situation. And they actually, I honestly think that they could have had a great relationship if they were able to compromise. I mean, he's a homebody. He doesn't like to do a lot of traveling, going to a lot of events. Olivia is the complete opposite. She's a Saints fan. She liked going to the game. She liked traveling. She liked spending her money. Now, she's a nurse practitioner. Nurse practitioners is almost like the next step up to a physician. So her and Amelia actually have some things in common. However... She's making the money. And I know that particular position is probably around six figures. Whereas, I mean, Brett has a good job. He's an IT guy. It's not as um, amount of money that, you know, Olivia would make as a nurse practitioner. But the thing is, the two of them, if they had a compromise, they could have definitely built a future together. He owns his own house. She rents her house. If they could have met in the middle somewhere, they could have had a place to stay. Now, I don't, I'm not saying that Brett should have sold his house because owning a house is a huge ac accomplishment. It's an investment. It builds equity. It's part of your assets. And one thing about Brett is he is all about building for his later years. Whereas Olivia, on the flip side, is that girl who spins, spins, spins. I make the money. I want to spend it. Okay. 
Somewhere along the line, I really truly think they could have met in the middle, but because they're both so stubborn, both stuck in their ways, nobody wanted to budge, it didn't happen. I will say with um, Olivia, she was very critical of him because when she went to visit his house, she downplayed him, downplayed his house. What's up with the two monitors? Hey, I got two monitors myself, so it's not a big deal. It's a lot of people that work from home who have two monitors, especially if you're a gamer, which he's an IT guy. He works with computers. He would have two monitors. She downplayed his house. Oh, it ain't all that. It's not that big. And of course, he was like, really? You know, I mean, I work hard to get this house and my wife is downplaying me. And then on the flip side, he was cold. He was aloof. He was blunt, even though some of the things uh, he might have said, like I said earlier, were correct. However, it was his delivery. And, you know, Olivia's like, man, do you have to be so sarcastic, rude? And here's the thing that I think about Brett from, you know, listening to uh, some of the things he said. First of all, he was cheated on or by a girl who he was going to marry twice. Or he was cheated on twice by his fiance, one of the two. That's got to be devastating in itself for a guy like Brett. For somebody that's cold and aloof and sarcastic, she treat she treat she cheated on him twice. Also, his family is extremely sarcastic, you know. So he got it earnest, and they told Olivia at the wedding when they had all the family members talking. That's who he was. On the flip side of this, I really truly think um, the biggest issue was the kids. And Brett did state that in episode 15 when he sat down with his friend is that they had a lot of fundamental foundation type cracks in their relationship. One being how to spend the money, building for the future, but the other thing was kids. She doesn't want to have kids right now. She kind of want to enjoy being married, doing some traveling, having some fun. She's looking for a travel companion, in my opinion. And then on the flip side, he wants kids. He loves cats. He does fostering for animals. So, I mean, that's who he is. And the thing is, they couldn't meet in the middle. And with kids and that subject, I don't know if you, you know, somebody is going to have to give and neither one wanted to do that. Then as we got further in the episodes, there's this whole issue with um, him being one way on camera, him being a different way off camera, his issues with production, him and Christina and Brandon from season 10 definitely have some in common with that. But she contradicted herself. At first she was saying he was not nice off camera in one episode and he portrays himself as a nice guy. And then the next episode, He is a nice guy off camera and portrays himself not a nice guy on camera. I'm like, which one is it? And if you go back to, I think it was episode 11 and 12 is when she was saying that. And hey, Meredith at first sight pulled up the receipts. They was like, okay, you know what? Let's see what's going on behind the scenes. And Brett was extremely affectionate. They're watching movies. They're holding hands. I mean, in that other episode, she acted like she didn't want to touch him when she was on camera. But off camera, they're all over each other. That was weird. And, and you know, it gave me a, an opportunity to give her a side eye on that. The whole thing with her friends when they played the trivia thing. I mean, he didn't know what, he didn't know how to play the game. It was her thing as the girl who knew this game and say, hey, let's work as a team and we'll do this together. She didn't do that. He supported her in the rock climbing. Oh yeah, keep it up. You're doing well. But then you couldn't do that in a trivia game. Okay. Yeah, right, Olivia. Then she tried to put him on blast with Dr. V and also with Pastor Cal and they flipped the script on her. I'm sorry, not Dr. V, Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper and Pastor Cal is like, Olivia, uh, I think your fear is talking to you. Maybe it is your insecurities, which Brett did say, and her perception, because he said there's no resolution to the problem of perception, which I totally agree with. But it was just one thing after the other. And then when she did tell him about his sarcasm after that whole meeting with Pastor Cal, he dialed that back. 
Then we have the quarantine situation where, of course, her being a nurse practitioner, she's got to be on the front line. And Brett is scared. He's like, what the heck is going on? I don't know. And he showed empathy with her to say, look, I don't know if it's going to be safe for you to be out there in the middle of a pandemic. We all felt this back in March, even myself. And she was like, yeah, 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 whatever. She downplayed his fear. And I'm like, okay, you're on the front line. You should be able to see exactly what's going on and reassure him. So she left anyway. And he's like, okay, you know what? I ain't got to deal with this. I'm going back to my house. I'm leaving. I'm taking my cats. They're fighting each other. I'm, I am so over this. I am so done with this. He took everything except I think he even took the salt. And I heard a couple of jokes in um, some of the Facebook groups and things about, uh, man, Brett, you took the salt too? And then other folks was like, well, Olivia don't cook anyway, so she eat out all the time, so what difference does it make? She thought he took all the food. He was like, I ate all the food. I don't, it, it was just a catastrophe waiting to happen. I mean, just the foundation pieces The biggest thing was the kids, like I say, Olivia did not want children. I mean, with her career, what she wanted to do with her life and travel and stuff, she needed somebody who was on the same page with her and who is as affectionate and sweet as her. But at the same time, she nitpicked too. And she doesn't take accountability for her actions. Now, I'm not saying Brett does either. But at the same time, she definitely doesn't because she would have conversations about Brett. She do this, he do this. Okay, but what did you do, Olivia? There are some things that you did too. So she was upset. Um, she knows one thing. She said she didn't like to be a failure at anything. So she considered this a uh, epic fail for her. So Brett moved back to the house. He first tried to blame it on the cats, pass the cow, call him out like, look, dude, nah. Mm-mm. And he was like, yeah, I moved out. I can't do this no more. The fundamental foundations is not working, so I'm done. How they ended this was interesting. And it could go both ways because she was like, okay, can we work this out? What do you think? And his response is, is no, no, thanks. I'm not interested. And he looked at his watch and he was out the door. Now, some people took that as offensive. Other folks took that as, hey, I'm glad he didn't lead her on. He could have just played it out like some of the other couples and played with her emotions, stuck it out. He didn't do that. He knows what he wants, don't want, and he was out the door. You guys, let me know what your thoughts are. I mean, his delivery was kind of sharp. But in the, in the main scheme of everything, he was done. He knew he was done. This is not his person. And honestly, if you know that this is the person that you don't want to be with, hello, Karen. We'll talk about her and her video. You need to figure out to move on. And I grant it, these folks are under contracts, which is probably why Brett and Olivia is still on camera because of the fact that, you know, I've heard some things that they can get a hefty penalty if they leave the show early. So a lot of folks got to stick it out, but they signed up for this. So, but you know what, hopefully, um, both Brett and I mean, Olivia will actually meet their person. I mean, I keep calling this girl, Amelia, Olivia needs to meet somebody who is compatible with her life in the way she do things and Brett is also needing to be with somebody who can deal with his sarcasm lighthearted, not insecure and who can take that his friend that we saw in episode 15 I don't know if that's truly his friend because he really threw him under the bus but okay so we'll see what happened on decision day let me know your thoughts like comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video